All right. Hello. I am down here in my little workshop and I'm still reorganizing, rethinking and retooling things. And it's generally going pretty well. But I wanted to take just a quick moment to show you something that was an experiment, was a little bit of a pilot project, and it actually worked out for a change. And so I want to share it with you in case this might be something that you can use in your projects. I'll cut to the chase and tell you what it is, and that is the ability to be able to embed wireless LEDs in your epoxy projects. So if you can see it there, I have wireless LEDs. They're embedded in this epoxy piece. Now, I'll go through and I'll explain what are wireless LEDs, how do they work a little bit, and then how did I actually get this to work. Unfortunately, the way the cameras work uh, here in my little studio, um, these are not showing up with nearly the uniformity or the brightness that they should be. I'll put it under my document camera here in just a second so that you can take a look. And you can see, again, even under the document camera, it doesn't show up uh, uniformly. The blue is much, much brighter, and the red, which is really a nice red, is just not showing up. These nice ones are amber, <clears throat> and once again, they're just not uh, showing up the way they should. But that's just an artifact of the way the cameras work and the way they respond to this light. It's a very high contrast for them, but it looks really cool in person. Now, let me explain, first of all, what these wireless LEDs are and how they work. <clears throat> and then why I decided to put them in epoxy and how I actually went about doing that. So how do wireless LEDs work? Well, you have a bit of electronics here hooked up to a power supply and a coil. And we also have the LEDs, but rather than just being light emitting diodes, they're light emitting diodes that have the leads attached to the coil as well. And I'll put some here underneath the document camera so that you can see them. But you can see here that these LEDs have these uh, coils, right? So let me see if I can get this a little bit zoomed in here. And I'll link to some other videos. There's one from Adafruit that's really good that kind of shows how this, how this all works. But what happens is, is when these things are near each other, these two coils, the one with the power supply kind of induces a current to run that drives these LEDs. Now you'll notice here that I have to turn this one upward so its coils align with my coil. You can actually have them somewhat on the outside. It doesn't work nearly as well as when it's on the inside. So this technology is very similar to how your cell phone might charge with a wireless charging system does use up some energy in the wireless transmission. There's some energy that's lost. You obviously have a heat sink here. You're losing some energy to heat. But it's kind of cool. And you can see there. Um, and there's been all sorts of neat projects that have been done with these. But I was watching some videos on how people were doing things with epoxy. And I thought, well, maybe I could do that myself and actually embed these in epoxy. This is my beta test. This is my prototype. So there's some issues with it and I'll tell you what they are. <clears throat> but I think it's been largely successful. I've actually had this on a stand that's uh, been back here and it's been running for the last two weeks. Thanks to Sophia for making my stand for me. But I wanted to make sure that these would run for a long period of time and there wasn't something about the interaction with the heat that they might generate or something like that that might be weird and I didn't want to steer you in the wrong direction. So let me put this one that's embedded in epoxy underneath the document camera so you can take a look and understand what I did. So the coil for this one is actually contained within this sandwiched piece of plywood. Very thin plywood that's been laser cut. So I went to our local maker space, thank you, Moberly Area Community College, and cut this out. 
and it's in two pieces. The one says Artemis, which is the NASA program to return humans to the moon. And basically inside of this is uh, glued uh, one of these coils. And then uh, put this in a mold. So let me get the mold out here. The mold is this very flexible um, thing. And I'll just maybe it's better to hold it up here where you can see it. Um, I actually just cut these wires here on the coil and made some tiny little holes that they would fit through here and that way I was able to get all this kind of centered into this mold and then I found that when I was doing this the the part down here where I have the wires coming in was supported well because it was those wires were going straight through that mold but down on this end I actually had to use like a little clip, so I just put a piece of wood across here and a little, little paper clip that kind of held this right there, so it left it suspended. And I poured it only up to cover the Artemis sign. Uh, I had never poured epoxy before, so I waited a day and then I dropped one of these LEDs in there. Of course, it's not turned on at the time. I dropped them in there and they sank immediately to the bottom. I didn't realize that it was going to take multiple days. This is going to be a seven day cure for this thing. So I let it go ahead and get to where it was finally hard uh, at that one level. I then put some more LEDs in and then I poured it all the way up to the top. And so that's how these have gotten embedded inside there. Unfortunately, I didn't really think through the fact that there would be an air bubble that would be trapped underneath this piece of wood. And that came out just as things were starting to solidify. So there were several different air bubbles that came up. I also put all the epoxy into a vacuum chamber beforehand. I had experimented with a smaller version and uh, or a smaller bit of epoxy and found that it had lots of bubbles and so I got a vacuum chamber and did that. But yeah, I think that's that's about it. That's about um, all the experiment here. Uh, I could drone on for a couple more hours apparently because I am a professor by trade. But just think of the things that you could do with this. You could have a really nice winter scene. Obviously I could have um, put more details uh, with engraving on this. I could have, uh, a, you know, other things embedded in the epoxy, some snow, something like that, a nice winter scene. You could have a, a picture. You, could, you can use this entire area. You could have a picture. You could actually make a constellation. You could make constellations with the colors of those particular stars. That would be kind of cool. So I imagine there's all sorts of things you could do with this. If you do do something with this, please let me know in the comments below. I'm going to do another video here in just a second. I'll probably post it a couple days later about something that I did as an experiment that failed. And hopefully you can learn from my failures there. So please hit subscribe so that you make sure you see that. And as I'm retooling my workshop, as I'm getting things ready, I'm going to continue to share these videos and hope that you can learn from me and my successes and my mistakes.